and Amici wears 15. Can Amici take over this game? Absolutely. And, you know, he's so big, so strong, and he's got such a soft shot. Young kids out there watching the game tonight, when John Amici goes to the basket, he's going to get bumped, he's going to get pushed, but watch the way he finishes plays with a soft touch. When big men have a soft touch, then they can become an offensive factor, and John is certainly that. Part in some two guard. Amici drives and gets the two. What did I say before the game about watching him finish plays under contact? How many times is Amici going to go to the line tonight? Well, that's always a big factor for the Sharks because John Amici loves to shoot the ball. There he goes again. Oh, baby. Nice move. What a move. Nice move. He left Neville Austin standing in his tracks on that play. Cawthorn goes long to Robinson. Robinson too long. Rebound Amici. Offensive board the first of the night for the Sharks. Here it is. Amici rolls, has the ball, goes to work on Robinson, double team comes, Robin, <laughs> Amici got bumped there, what a play, John Amici! I tell you what he did there, he, he rushed his first shot, you, you'll see the replay. And here comes Amici, Amici, tough play for two! Oh, that's, that's, a, that's a bad situation there for the Towers. They work to get the rebound and shot. They throw it long in what could have been a potential layup for Danny. He saves it, and he, 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 Danny Lewis made the cardinal sin here. Never taking that penetration away from Carl, and he made the mistake and turned it over. Deion Haynes drops it around to Amici for three. It's good! John Amici now from the outside knocks down the three. He is a dangerous big man, and here he goes. Ed sees what's on. There's Amici with the ball. Amici puts it up. It down long two. Amici has 17 of the 28 points. So Day pulls it in. Amici has it. Amici, nice spin move off the glass. Oh, baby, what a move! That was a train coming at Neville Austin. There, it was nothing Neville could do about it either. The train was coming. He spun past Robinson. Neville tried to draw the charge and try to block the shot. Amici just too strong. To Amici. Amici goes to work. Beautiful hang time by John Amici. Nice again, soft touch exhibited by the Sharks big man there. Here is Amici. Amici for the long two. Whoa! Boy, that was way out there. Foot on the three-point line. Take a look at this. Hey, these sides are going head to head now. We're lighting it up. Marco Baldy, big time shot. All nice crossover. Amici for three. Now that's something Baldy can't do. Well, the problem there is again on, on that switch. Baldy was trying to help stop the, the penetration. There's Baldy inside making sure there's no penetration. Gets the ball. Here's the two-man game. Robinson and Amici. Oh, look at that body move. Oh, what a pretty play. John Amici. And Amici is the highest ever scorer in the Uniball Finals. Leeds all scorer takes the record from Alan Cunningham. Alan Cunningham, who'd held the record up until today, he's in the crowd looking at the game. <laughs> I wonder if he recognizes that his record is gone. And here you go with Mr. Williams. Amici gets both of them 12 for 12, 38 points. This is a dominant performance by Amici. But to me, John Amici was quite sensational. 40 points, the highest ever individual score in a trophy game, and 13 rebounds as well. A Uniball trophy final record, 40 points. MVP is John Amici! John Amici of the Sheffield Sharks gets the MVP at the end of a sensational ball game.